I don't even think we've gotten beyond the tip of the iceberg. I think it's going to continue and continue. More and more uh, victims are going to come out. Only on WDSU, an insider perspective on the embattled and bankrupt archdiocese. The diocese is selling properties to pay for more than 500 sex abuse claims. WDSU investigative reporter Aubrey Killian speaks to a sister linked to one of those properties. She gives her take on the sale and the recent arrest of a former priest accused of rape. Aubrey. Hey, Trevor. So we've been staying on top of this story. I spoke with Sister Beth Mook. She is one of the directors of the properties for sale. She spoke with me in hopes of bringing change. Do you think there are other former priests out there right now that are living that committed sex abuse in our community? I do. Wow. I do. And not just priests, you know, uh, religious, religious women, religious men. Um, I think they're out there. It has tested my understanding of authority in the church sometimes. Sister Beth Mook is the director of the St. Jude Community Center. It's one of the properties owned by the diocese up for sale to pay for sex abuse claims. Why are members of churches having to pay for the sins of priests who rape children. What would you, how would you respond to that? Churches may be asked, but it, it may come from their surplus. It may come from extra property that they have. I'm hoping that there are people giving the Archbishop good advice. I think some of the advice he's gotten has been very bad. This month, former priest and accused child molester Lawrence Hecker was arrested for rape and kidnapping charges. Prosecutors say for decades, Hecker was moved from assignment to assignment and put in contact with victims over and over again. The alleged victim's attorney says his client was choked until he was unconscious and raped by Hecker in the 1970s. The attorney says the abuse was reported shortly after. I know bishops were given um, advice. Look, these. Yes, okay, this is, this is not good, but he can be fixed. He can be fixed, or she can be fixed. You don't need to move him, or maybe you just need to move him to another parish, but let, let's give him a little help, and then they're not going to do this anymore. Not understanding pedophilia at all. The Archdiocese says their first allegation regarding Hecker surfaced in 1996. They say in 1999, leadership confronted Hecker with allegations of abuse. The Archdiocese says Archbishop Gregory Amon was not Archbishop at the time and was not only not involved, was unaware of the matter. In 2002, the diocese says Hecker was removed and that's when they first reported Hecker to law enforcement. The Archdiocese did not publicly identify him as an accused predator until 2018. Hecker was allowed to keep his benefits until 2020. They were discontinued when the diocese filed for bankruptcy, and it wasn't until 2023 that Hecker was put behind bars. Sister Mook says there needs to be change. I would like to see more roles for women in the church. What happened was horrible. We can make it better. The Archdiocese encourages any survivor to report any abuse to law enforcement. If you want to see their full statement from them, head to the WDSU mobile app. Back to you.